welcome to the vlog. I am starting this out at the OBGYN. I gotta do this every year. Now mind you, the way healthcare is set up. <laughs> Why are we doing this every year? Because I just have my own beefs with doctors. <laughs> just overall. People are like, you need to stop. You need to no, because if you knew the type of treatment that not only I experienced, but also my dad experienced, which caused him to, you know, pretty much hmm, lose his battle to cancer because he was a black man and no one gave a sh Anyway, this is this is the the anxiety ridden part of me with doctors and it and it's a new doctor because the other one left. Why did you leave? Because that's another triggering point. Because the doctors that helped my dad left too this is why i don't like doctors so the fact that i'm able to justify my actions and my nervousness does exactly that and i don't care why are people doctors leaving offices switches or whatever mind you i've had this person for I believe two years now and then mind you i don't know the cmi but this is real woman stuff i have a tilted or tipped uterus okay when you do that whole pap smear situation whatever whatever it's uncomfortable when you use a just a standardized one I have to use one that's curved right for me to be comfortable and let them do what they need to do I tell you there is no regard for any type of just li just listen to your patient <laughs> I know I'm, I'm real off raw 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 right now but I need to get this out before I go in here so I'm not pissed off that's all it is what it is I don't care I don't care because pe like just overall that's why I left healthcare that's why I left the field myself because I cared too much a lot of people just don't care anymore in this field I don't like that I don't like that and then they're and they force all these stipulations I'm not even go there with you but yeah let me go in here Hopefully it's in and out because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people. Thank the Lord. So let me get in and out. Okay? And then if I want to continue to vent after my experience with this new doctor, oh, I'm going to let it be known. Because people need to talk about it. And I'm just a, I'm a, just a real content creator. And if my feelings are out, then my feelings are out. And we're going to have cool times. We're going to have venting times. We're going to have all the time. And that's what I did this for because it's pretty much just a video diary for me because I know other people are going through it and I'm not gonna shut up about it so okay so we're doing okay let me hit it well, I am out of the apartment the apartment wow the appointment now mind you I'm being an advocate because this office even though I probably could find it cheaper elsewhere they're just nicer people in this area just people are nice because they're nice so there's pros and cons with that too like a uh, nicer area doesn't to me it just doesn't have that much diversity which doesn't make sense to me but it just doesn't have that it doesn't have like I said much diversity too it's slow pace mind you I'm still trying to reel and, you know, heal from having such a chaotic few years, you know, with my old occupations, I was always on the go, forcefully, right? So, my brain is still like, can we please, I know y'all, y'all real chill up in this piece, but can we please get this over? Now, mind you, the appointment was, even though I waited for a longer period of time, the appointment wasn't long because I already had the more um, thorough exam last year so I don't have any changes now mind you what makes me mad is I know because I have to you know save up for it because I am self-pay because the whole thing like I said with Medicare Medicaid whatever whatever it is health care insurance whatever with being self-pay, I have to save up for my appointments. So, um, 
they, you know, give me a discount and all that good jazz. However, why am I paying, I'm going to give you a figure, why am I paying $240 after my discount to be able to just renew my birth control prescription? Like, that is the most expensive birth control renewal, like, every year, but I'm good until next August, which is fine. Uh-oh. Someone being life flighted, I think, from the VA. Anyway, those are the pros and cons. Now, mind you, the doctor, I'm not nervous about showing the babies. I'm not, <laughs> because that's what they're here to do. They're here to examine whatever, so that's fine. It's just, it's just the cost. It's just mainly, the, and I think I'm traumatized still from my last visit and just with the whole treatment of because mind you last year and the beginning of you know the first segment of this year I was visiting hospitals back to back to back because I was visiting my mom because she had a major heart attack not sure if it's major or minor now I'm gonna have to review some situations but yeah ne nevertheless, nonetheless she had a heart attack then I had to rehabilitate and help somebody else you know who I truly care for so it's just back and forth like horrific accidents horrific situations happened all last year mind you on top of that going through the chaos that I did with COVID and with everything else that happened in between time in my life with that it was a very dark time so I want to stay away from doctors <laughs> as much as I can that's all that's my gripe about it because I'm sick of being in a sterile cold place I'm sick of seeing who I care and love about in a bed for months at a time like it's it was so unexpected because each time it was like at least four to six months each time and I would have to go you know an hour or two away so I can be sure that their care is being taken care of and mind you neither of them neither of the people that I helped rehabilitate one person you know my mom first and then another person I the amount the the treatment and it's and I know for a fact it's because of the area that they are in because I wish somebody would treat somebody like that in my area I just don't see that happening I don't see that happening because just overall it seems like people around here care but in the other area which is like a real rural I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know the difference between rural and whatever real ratchet area and you could tell that people don't care you could tell that their workload and their patient load is ridiculous and like I'm glad that I found this place near me however it's like could I find like somewhere in the neighboring area that's cheaper every year because 240 can go a very long way with me okay because I don't know about everybody else I'm realistic with my budget because I have stuff that I have wanted to do when it comes to you know the self-care part of me or whatever and to me this was a part of the self-care so that way I can just get it over with for another year and I don't have to be bothered by God willing by another hospital or anything like that. I just don't want to deal with it. So with that being said, women's health. Now, everybody has their own thing. Everybody has their own aches, ailments, illnesses, all that, right? Totally get it. For me, I have lived a very long life. To me, I consider it a very long life with the amount of times that because my immune system was weak at the time, you know, back then. So I would get sick constantly. I was used to being in some amount of pain. And would I tell you back then, a few years back too, I don't know if it was because of you know, I started birth control just a few years back. When I tell you the amount of migraines, it wasn't even, I literally thought 
something was going on with my head because it was days at a time I couldn't see you couldn't turn the light on I couldn't be out in the sunlight and mind you I had a position where I had to be outside I had to be talking to people I had to respond to emergency calls I had to do everything so them it's a double-edged sword me going through that ailment and God cleared that for me thank God like thank you Lord for clearing that up for me but it was also they didn't give a flying whatchamacallit about my situation mind you I didn't know it was because of the certain birth control that I was on hell I don't even know if it was because of that I don't know if it's because of the amount of stress that I was under I honestly do not care I was experiencing it and people did not care people did not care what people were around me doing snaking me out lying on me crucifying me for stupid sh so that all piggies back to like I said with the hospital and the treatments women's health is important because we carry the children now mind you men are a very critical part of what makes us us however women's health is important I just wish there was more people in the healthcare system that cared about women that cared about our situations and I lucked out with the office that I found too because you know I was real nervous because when a doctor leaves a that makes me nervous because why are you leaving but I found out the reason why apparently she moved out of state followed her daughter out of state okay fine cool it's just first off why do I know that information I'm just a person <laughs> that people love talking to you know people tell me their life story and I just said where is the coca-cola on aisle three that's all i said mind you i don't even drink soda but <laughs> you know what i'm saying what's the more realistic where is the milo's milo's tea in aisle seven okay where's it at and then they told me on the way to aisle seven everything and their mama what they're going through so i get why i get certain information but it's like okay I know I've been a therapist. I know I've been, you know what I'm saying? I know I did all that. That's just innate in me, I guess. People love to talk to me. However, I'm going on a rant at this point. I said what I needed to say, pros and cons. I need. I just needed to get that out because I know a lot of people uh, experience similar things or have a certain mind about certain things. And I, I promise you, I get it. I totally understand. Now, mind you, random. I saw on the way here on the highway there's this red truck and he was driving straight and there was like a little bend in the road but the truck of the bed was slanted it was going this way but it was going straight why is your truck bed at a 25 degree angle but you're going in a straight direction I don't understand and this nurse is pissed but she kept going in and out and she slammed the door anyway try, let me get out of here go home you know beat this little rush hour that they seem to love having around this time so again if i haven't said so already welcome to the vlog and we will see what happens this week hey everybody so it has been a few hours since the appointment that I had and I started thinking especially in regards to women's health don't think I'm trying to bash men in this case I am just again through personal experience through personal you know situations and trauma that I have gone through personally, I feel like in this realm of talking about stuff, it is prevalent. So I just want to be sure that I was in a calm setting <laughs> before just talking about this. I'm not sure if it's because of the examples, whether it be my friend group at the time or just women that 
you know, I saw as figures at the time that were adult figures. Um, and a very <laughs> horrific memory that I won't disclose, at least not right now, because I just, I don't want to bring up certain emotions at this time. However, um, women's health is, like I said previously, like during my whole rant situation, it's important, especially if someone is trying to have a child, right? And now mind you, because I'm always going to bring it back to me. The reason why I don't have children or a child is because I can't put my full trust into a male partner that I have had. Even with prior relationship, mind you, I've only been in a few relationships my entire life I'm about longevity however the first relationship way too young was still in college that was my first ever relationship and even now looking back at it I really don't know if it was supposed to be Like, a one-night stand. Like, I, I still don't know to this day because I never, it, I'm not a one-night stand type of person. Can I talk, can I be rude with y'all? I'm not a one-night stand person. I am a person that wants to wait to have that intimacy with somebody. And just wanting it to be genuine. So, the first relationship was in college and it was like again I, I i still don't even know why it ended how it ended i kind of know why it he left me for anyway all the other times with the rare occasion that somebody was you know interested me interested in me in several ways including trying to be intimate I never felt protected never felt loved enough to be able to be like oh okay I could probably possibly have a child with him and mind you someone that I already had a kid I already, I already told myself that I cannot wrap my head around even though I don't feel like I would be a second baby mom, that's my mentality. I don't care if I hold the title of wife. I don't care if I hold the title of fiance. I am not going to be, I, because I didn't have half siblings. I only have one brother, older brother. I'm not going to have my offspring. And it would be my husband's offspring too, but I'm not letting my child or children be half siblings. Now, mind you, that's just my mindset, okay? Others opposed to it, others are for it. Whatever the case may be, that's just where my head was. However, with people aging, with certain generational things, a lot of people already have kids. So when it comes to picking or wanting to be with somebody that already has them it's like I just mm. but back to the woman's health went on a tangent for a second I don't understand and again, this is just my experience, and y'all can believe it or not, but because I'm trying to process it, 
because I don't even, given some things that have happened to me, there it's more of a slow burn type of healing for me. So I just want to make sure that people understand because I don't have the social circle to be able to talk things out because, you know, A, people go apart, B, they don't really understand, kind of. So this is why I'm coming to y'all because y'all are consistently here with me. Y'all are watching and I hope that you guys are understanding and so on. So due to my experiences, marriage has been, I don't want to say like an afterthought, but has been very scary. Because again, I have been shown personally and I have been shown examples through other people that it just doesn't work. Mind you, I understand that some women do get the situation that they are looking for. I understand that some of them truly get what they desire, right? I'm at a point now and again, I'm not comparing. I'm just I'm just saying it's the look of the draw at this point. That's all I'm saying. I'm at a point where I can't accept mediocre stuff. I can't accept certain patterns and everything else just to continue on, especially when it's not feasible for me. And when it comes to children and women's health, I don't get why men compromise the woman's health so badly because I take that very seriously. I'm not, if I'm in a situation, okay, even out of a situation, even if I'm completely by myself, I'm not out here. Like the mileage is low. <laughs> it's just, it's low. And I'm proud to say that because I, j I cannot do that if I'm not, j I can't, like nothing is being supplied to me mentally first. Like financially, I've never had a man help me financially, like a bill maybe within the past five years, a couple bills. But it was like an electric bill of like $50. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm keeping it buck with you, okay? So they, and I know, you know, men and women always have this cat and dog fight. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get certain things out so that way I can move on and that I feel like my feelings are hurt. That's all I want. I just want my feelings to be out there because I know other people can feel the same, if not exactly like me, very similar. And that is that has been my whole goal this whole time. That's all I want. When it comes to the women's body, it's both very fragile yet very strong. When working properly, it's, you know, it's a very great thing to be able to bring life into the world. However, again, personal experience I have seen over and over and over and over and over and over and over again except for my mom and dad and my dad and my mom would still be together if he didn't pass away as I said before due to losing his battle to cancer and even so this is how I knew that what type of man that I wanted because even after death my dad had provisions in place to be able to at least help my mom 
in a way that she could still bring me up because my brother was already in college. So for me, now mind you, childhood, mm, I don't think I want to talk about that in video form right now, but I know that from when he was here till he passed on after he passed on it was a time it was a time but he made sure at least there was you know the basic needs that were met even after death so I know that my dad was my mom's one like nobody was gonna be able to treat her like he did and even through his cancer he was very still vibrant still wanting to do things and it was only until it got really bad and it deteriorated to me it felt like it deteriorated pretty fast because it was just like one day he was up and talking and being completely fine and the other time like he couldn't even feed himself and then he passed on but I feel like it's important to talk about now because I'm at a mindset now where I do want what I saw even though I was so young at the time when he passed that You know, I just want the love that they had and even though it has been a while since he passed he was very persistent with my mom and that's what I like when it comes to a relationship now mind you persistency you need more than that, of course. But when I'm talking about persistency, that man, Nigga my dad, he chose my mom and he didn't let go. Like nothing that they faced, nothing that they had to go through during that time period, nothing that, you know, he strived to give her to provide for her like a manly man and he was gentle at the same time like he was very unbothered and he was even killed and that's where you get the side of me where you see I carry him within me every day so when you see the rah 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 that's my mama in me <laughs> mom dukes is feisty so I'm gonna be feisty when I need to be but again tangent but that's all to say with being someone that hasn't had great examples after my father passed away especially in the woman's health type of thing it's just like how and I asked my mom this too I was like how does somebody because I saw this um couple walking down just down the sidewalk cheesing like a mug with their baby in a stroller I said how do people get that because I truly don't I truly don't know how do you get that how do you eventually find somebody that makes you feel happy protected loved secured I'm not going nowhere I'm here for you. What do you need? Because it's me. I do that for the people I love. So I just want reciprocation. And I think everybody does. You know, I'm not the only person that would want somebody to either balance you out or be a missing link to what you need. You know, it's just that's a basic thing that people want. To me, that's basic, but it seems like it's pulling teeth. Whatever it is. And 
it's like I have seen <laughs> mind you I'm not in nobody's situation and in their rooms okay but from what people have disclosed to me and how badly they have wanting something they wanted something to work and it just couldn't me personally there's certain things that just it seems so impossible to obtain and I'm talking about regards to being in a feminine role because I had to fool myself for a few years I literally had to fool myself I'm like I don't need nobody I'm cool off people this that and the third I had to fool myself but knowing that no I don't want to be the person that leads I don't want to be in a relationship mind you at work or you know at an event or I need, if I need to be a leader that's simple to me I've done it for years cool whatever I just want to be able to be led in the home but the problem is I can't even get a home <laughs> with somebody because there is no security there is minimal love there is you know always some pushback there's always something that occurs that doesn't help the situation and I'm like at some point it needs to end stuff needs to stop or something needs to change to the point where Mind you, I'm not going to forget nothing. <laughs> but something would have to drastically change for me to be like, now mind you, people are like, oh, you got to guard up. Oh, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart. No. I'm just stating facts because my reality and my perception is but yeah perception it's valid I'm not the only person going through this now mind you I'm not going to minimize myself because I'm not the only person going through this I'm just saying it's helpful there is there is a time and there has to be a time where people eventually have to come together I'm talking about you know relationship they have to come together and just like if a woman's health matters so does the man's the man's the men's <laughs> so when there's added stress because mind you here's another thing about women's health I do not want to have a child and I'm completely stressed out that is not my role and I believe that it will never be my role if I was to find something that I feel secure, protected, loved in, and so on. Just the basic things that a woman needs to be able to cultivate a home, be able to cultivate a working relationship within the household and the child and all of that. I know what that consists of. My father already instilled that in the family dynamic anyway before he left. So even though I didn't understand it now that I'm getting older, it's okay, I get it. I understand. And my brother is the same way with his family. He, you know, is the provider. He is the person that, you know, takes on a lot, takes on a lot. And just as siblings, we both have, you know, and we're the people that carry the loads. We're the people that carry the weight of everything. We're the ones that have to be the rocks in our situations. And he, just like my father, chose his wife. And, you know, they are rocking it. Like when you choose somebody, that's my whole premise. When you choose somebody, you're supposed to care for each other's health. You're supposed to care 
for down the line because if you're stressed out and you know you're you're doing certain vices and your coping mechanisms isn't okay and you're you know all of this that can go awry how can you cultivate a home and that's what i feel a lot of people struggle with and i'm talking when i say home i just mean like family how can you cultivate that when he's stressed out you're stressed out <laughs> y'all are just you know coming together for a release or whatever the case may be what is that really what like what what is that you know and going to the doctor's office today and me just sitting back and relaxing it's just like wow I have not had a time where and I and I like I said, I tried to kid, uh, kid myself and just say that that's not what I needed. But as a woman that wants to be in her feminine situation, it is a need. And I need to be able to not accept certain things and I need to welcome others. And it's just like... <laughs> When will it come a time where I'm able to step in my feminine role completely? Mind you, understand it takes work. It does. I'm just, I'm willing to put in the work. It's just, when is somebody going to not compromise me? Not compromise try to because okay we're not doing that why why do things like step out of the relationship why do things like just my job, I'm not, I, can, I cannot go into detail without really like, you know, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do none of that. I'm just saying I'm at a point right now where I feel like I just pray that somebody one day, if it's not me or if it's somebody else, that they truly understand that the woman that they are with or the woman that they you know see longevity with please understand what she wants and needs out of you because they ain't gonna work if you don't understand her it's just not why keep putting in time and effort when you don't even want to change and adapt. I'm just talking about people in general. Why try and bring somebody in the life with you and you don't even want to be challenged. You don't want to think differently. You don't want to see another perspective. You don't want to see the outcomes of things. Because mind you, I'm going to do that all day. That is me, 100%. I'm going to adapt. I'm going to change. I'm going to learn. I'm going to all, all the things. And it seems like, I don't know if it's because of the area I'm in. But it has to go. It has to go. So, I just... I needed to get that out because the health... Of somebody especially one that has reproductive organs <laughs> and is pretty much the carrier it's not pretty much she is the carrier of a child I that's the reason why that I don't have any right now because I don't feel like me as a person is cared enough for so I just need to get that out 
because again I'm doing this to help people and I'm going to be able to look back at this and be like wow look at the growth and mind you I don't I never said that statement really out loud to people people you know I'm the strong one I'm the I'm the this I'm the that but call a spade a spade like that just being cared for has not been in my cards. It just hasn't. It's not okay. I hope it happens one day. But, you know, it's like, at this point, who knows? I'm not giving up on it. But at the same time, it's just like, not right. <laughs> okay. But yeah, just that whole office situation made me you know start thinking about you know again with the whole hospital visit year that happened last year and um just things that happened with my dad and everything so it's just like it when does it get to a point where someone can feel at ease someone can feel like they're able to be more free within themselves now don't get me wrong your girl got confidence your girl is doing her thing but it just it helps when you have somebody in your corner so i hope that you guys are in mine and obviously when i'm talking about this i'm in yours because i hope it resonates with somebody and if you know somebody that's going through something similar you know, just send it to them, you know, because I'm going to be with you too. So, yeah. Just wanted to do that little chit chat before I headed to bed. So, I hope it was informal. In informal? Gosh. Now I'm getting tired. I hope it was informational. And I appreciate you letting me be vulnerable in this vlog so far. So, gonna head to bed and since I've been talking for a little bit I'm not sure if this would just be a chit chat video or if I will sploop like you know what I'm saying go a little bit further into it but we will see